and to finally organize everything in time and not playing anymore with any rubata, we need to feel pulsation before and while playing. As it says in the training book, we need to merge and feel emotional image, form and time all together. So, so this trinity, image, form and time is going to be always in your mind. Uh, in this piece, we're going to pulsate by eight notes, by every quaver. And uh, on this stage, we are still playing in slow tempo. Only. So we don't speed up here so far. So what you need to do is to feel joy beginning in a slow pulsation. And feel how time would add some new nuances to that image. Let's say this is how we're going to pulsate. So you feel this pulsation like your heartbeat and you know you, you feel a little bit different with this kind of time. You feel that in this case uh, it all together feels more calm, more relaxed but still very lovely. Again go through the whole piece just imagining image, form and time all together as a sensation. The same thing as you did in form. So you look at the first uh, sentence and now you imagine image, form and time as a sensation. Go next, imagine joy, development, this calm pulsation. <clears throat> and then you play the whole piece in the same slow tempo. Again, the order is uh, as follows. Feel image, form and time gather weight, lift up your hands while playing the, while imagining the first note in sound texture and start playing thinking about phrasing. And you will see that everything that you need to express now are in the strict limits of time. So no robot anymore. Um, okay, so if you can start with very slow tempo. Okay. Joy. Beginning. Time. Got it. Got the feeling. Now get a weight. Imagining the first note and some texture and all other stuff. Start playing, thinking about phrasing. Just to start with watching my video, how to play confidently on stage, it explains better what artistry is. And the first thing we're gonna do is, we, we, uh, we're still playing in slow tempo here, by the way. We're gonna go through the whole piece, imagining how artistry feeling expresses image, form and time all together as a sensation. So, again, we're talking about imagining sensations, not the music. Uh, you're looking at the first sentence and you imagine you feel artistry how and you feel how through artistry you would express uh, joy how your artistry expresses actually joy beginning and time you get this feeling very clear then you go to the next sentence um, and uh, so when you play you're making the same routine uh, feel artistry first then image, form and time, gather weight, lift up your hands, imagining sound texture and start playing, uh, thinking about phrasing and actually feeling how artistry expresses your image. And after playing this way a couple of times, uh, we would be ready to move on to the whole new stage where we're gonna actually learn the piece, um, practice the piece, <laughs> bring every sensation to muscle memory, to make it uh, in a way, to make all sensations in a way smaller. So that was the first stage, big part that uh, belongs to so-called you know, analysis of the piece. So we haven't learned anything yet. We just went through all the layers to create this wholeness 
in your musical world. So you will have something to say while playing. Learning stage is a stage where you start speeding up as well as learning the piece by heart. And uh, my video, uh, Inefficient Piano Practice versus Efficient Practice Part 2, explains in details this stage. Very interesting video and funny. So the first thing, break the piece in small blocks and work with each of them. Play every sentence several times in slow, moderate and fast tempos. Uh, that actually video explains everything of this. Before playing in faster tempo, you need little preparation. Uh, feel first image, form and time without artistry. And only then come back and feel artistry, how artistry expresses image, form and time. So what I mean is that uh, before we didn't speed up, correct? So now in this stage, uh, let's say you took one sentence, you play several times in slow tempo. Now you want to speed up. So before you're speeding up, you first feel it. And when you feel it, first, you just feel it even without artistry. You feel like image, form, and time in a more inspir inspiration and lively time. You get the feeling, and only then you add artistry. Only then you come back and you think about artistry that expresses image, form, and time. And then you start playing as many times as it takes to think comfortable. Then you want to speed up again, then you stop again. You don't just play and speed up. You stop again, and you again imagine image, form, and time in a little bit more energetic, you know, pulsation. Get this feeling. Then come back to artistry. Imagine how artistry would express image, form, and time, and then start playing. That's how you speed up. Uh, Couple of days later, make the same routine with every two sentences. So the next day or a couple of days later, you make the same thing with two sentences, every two sentences. Then with every four sentences, and so on till you're able to play the whole piece in fast tempo. That's how we learn the piece. <laughs> and on this stage, there will be always some difficult fragments that need more corrections and attention. And my video, How to Practice Piano in Fast Tempo, explains how to overcome typical mistakes such as um, unevenness of fingers, some missing notes, an accuracy in lips, and much, much more. So it's called How to Practice Piano in Fast Tempo. And the last stage is a rehearsing stage. Uh, if before, all the time you would be constantly thinking uh, and controlling your playing, this is the stage where you can finally let go and feel freedom of self-expression. Let go of thinking about anything, any task that you previously made. <laughs> Think only about image of the music and play from your heart. And my video pushing versus pulling playing explains in details that stage. And uh, secondly, what you can do is start recording your playing, start playing for someone, and uh, gradually that will make your artistry stronger to protect from your audience energy and uh, will give you freedom to play with open heart. Also, you might want to watch my video titled Piano Master Class Stage Performance to better understand what is going on when we play in front of the audience. Okay, so basically it goes like this. On the very first stage, um, analysis of the piece, uh, all the tasks are in your mind. On the second stage, learning the piece, all the tasks uh, transfer to muscle memory. And on the last stage, rehearsing the piece, it's where you focus only on your heart. And actually, that's it. This is how you learn very smartly, uh, step by step, a new piece. It really takes 17 days to make it, guys. I told you. Uh, it looks very long, but it's so efficient, much more efficient than just playing the piece, correcting mistakes, and just trying to play it more beautiful <laughs> every day. So that's the way to practice. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.